High Plains is by far the crappiest place on earth. No more drifting. No more tire spinning. Ever. Officer Dan, I was with the High Plains Police Department, but I tend to have gotten fired from that job. So the drift apocalypse happened. I don't know if you're aware. Things got a little crazy. There's those two boys on the bikes, man. I'm still trying to find them. I may give them a high five. I may kick them in the nuts. I mean, you can't even go in public without 500 horsepower plus. That's just science. <laughs> Uh, since there's so much chaos, they had to upgrade their vehicles. You should see the crap that they came out with now. 850 horsepower buggies with a million inches of suspension travel, run flat tires, and air conditioning. With all the electronic gadgets that guy has, the nickname I'm gonna give him is gonna be Robo Buck. Ain't nobody gonna catch these dudes but me. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, he does have a cool dune buggy and all, but nah, that's my jurisdiction. Well, there's two types of people in this world. You got your drifters on one hand, and then on the other is the photogs, man. They got these drones, man, they're everywhere. I mean, these dudes are trying to capitalize on every single thing we do. I issued a challenge in the most spectacular way possible. I drew up a bunch of flyers in my spare time and I threw it at them at great speeds. I built this car to take on the world and also to catch two guys on motorcycles. I figured that I'm a good enough mechanic to where it's just gonna work, no problems. God damn it. 
All right, Mr. Buck, they're all yours, man. Fruit flies have entered the meatloaf. I'm out. Clear them boys is headed down to Mexico. Land of tequila, 10 gallon hats, and the Speedy Gonzalez. You know, if HPPD gave me all the money that they spent on all of Buck's crap, I'd probably go on a vacation to the Bahamas. Or maybe, uh, invest in a laundromat. Looks like them boys made it down to Mexico. Good thing I brushed up on my Espanol.